Hi Scorpio, this is your April 3rd through April 9th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread. After that, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And uh, at the end, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Six of Wands. We have the Lovers. And uh, then we have uh, the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. In the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Pentacles with uh, the Empress and the Hierophant. And uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Sagittarius, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Well, uh, Scorpio, here's the deal. You got this page of cups, the first card that came out. It's just a page, okay? But don't let this person fool you. <laughs> In a very positive way, that is, right? They are, I think, they may think you're the one the first time they see you, right? You, it's like you had this person at hello, um, and uh, they're coming in to get something serious started with you right away. They're still going to be asking you out with, the, you know, it's going to be the usual date or uh, they may approach you if you are going somewhere by yourself or with your friends, if you're socializing with your friends, they will approach you. But again, I think it's love at first sight, at least for this person. And I think you will really quickly catch on, <laughs> right? Yeah, because... Uh, the rest of the spread after that page of cups is as serious as it gets. It really is as serious as it gets. Right? The Six of Wands, clarifying the page of cups, is also a pretty serious card. Right? The Six of Wands, back in the day, used to be called the proposal card. And uh, that's the card clarifying that uh, small page of cups. I don't mean to belittle the page of cups, but you know, this is them again just being super nice to you. Perhaps they are, they just don't want to. Uh, overwhelm you, they they can control themselves. <laughs> so when they do start this conversation, it will look like, yes, they're super nice to you, but they're not like all over you, if you know what I mean. They're not going to be uh, in your face like all, all the time, constantly. But the idea, their plan is to get this show on the road with you as quickly as possible, right? So yeah, the Six of Wands is a card of uh, victory and success, so their plan is to win you over, right? Um, the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, is a golden opportunity. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles also often comes through as a card of a proposal, just like the Six of Wands, but again, they're not showing it to you right away. They will show a lot of interest, but they're not going to be like, oh, let's talk about the names of our kids. No, it's not going to be like that. <laughs> but just so you know, yes, they do want to get serious with you right away. The Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to get serious, uh, ready to start something, something long-term, right? The Ace of Pentacles always talks about long-term. And uh, right next to that page of cups, we have the Lovers. The Lovers could be a Gemini you're dealing with. The Lovers could also be a card of a choice. But to be honest with you, I don't really see anybody stopping for a second to think about it and make that choice, right? Granted, we'll choose to be in relationships or marriages, but again, I don't see any hesitation. Um, the Lovers, in my opinion, is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And the Lovers could simply be the love of your life. Again, I think it's love at first sight, and that's exactly what the lover's card is here for. You're the Queen of Cups, the next card over. We are not arguing over that, right? <laughs> Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. As I was clarifying the Queen of Cups, I simply asked, how will Scorpio feel about what's going on? And the Wheel of Fortune showed up. Yes, you are also on board. Like I said earlier, you will catch on real quick. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune could be a Sagittarius, you're dealing with, but the Wheel of Fortune is a major iconic card. It's the start of a new cycle, and that's how you will see this. You are on board, right? You are on board, literally, <laughs> for some of you. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Knight of Pentacles with uh, the Empress and uh, the Hierophant. Again, as serious as it gets. The Knight of Pentacles always talks about long-term, just like the Ace of Pentacles. You see how the Knight 
of pentacles is holding up a pentacle. That's exactly the pentacle we see in the Ace of Pentacles. We're just zooming in on that, right? The Knight of Pentacles, just like the Ace of Pentacles, always talks about long term, always talks about something that's going to be around for a while, right? The Knight of Pentacles is the most serious, the most grounded knight out of all four knights, and the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights, to be fair. The Empress in the middle, that's you. We're not questioning that either, right? That's you in the future, because uh, the Empress often comes through as a future wife, or a future significant other figure, a future mother figure. And uh, the Empress is simply abundance in its purest form. The Hierophant, right next to the deck, could be a Taurus you're dealing with, but the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage, right? So it's not a question of if. It's a question of when the two of you will commit to each other. Um, Scorpio, yeah, it's going to be love at first sight. It, it's, it's as simple as it gets in this case, and as serious as it gets as well. All right, I'm not even going to bother with an extended for you, Scorpio. That would be a waste of time. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Scorpio, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this prayer is for you. We have the Sun, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Queen of Cups, and we have uh, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Well, there's collaboration, there is uh, you and your person, and at the same time, it's a wish come true, or it's a personal satisfaction and fulfillment on your part. Right, then your person is somehow participating in that, making you happy, wishing, uh, I mean, granting a wish for you. Right, so yeah, the sun, the first card that came out could be a, a Leo, you're dealing with, but the sun is the happiest card in the deck, plain and simple, it's the happiest card in the deck, it's the only major kind of card on the table, right, so I would just have to assume you're going to be happy. <laughs> the thing of pentacles right next to it is a card of collaboration, so it's you and your significant other, or perhaps there's other people involved in terms of you could be getting together with a bunch of people and doing something together, I don't know, taking a class together, hanging out together, or it could be like a family getting together and doing something. You could simply be playing a board game, <laughs> a new board game, and that's what's making you happy. Again, happiness, right? The Nine of Cups, the next card over, is a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. It's also a card of a wish come true. The Queen of Cups, clarifying the Nine of Cups, that's you, and that's how you're going to be feeling about this. And the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck, there is two people, right? That's you and uh, your person. But again, it could be uh, some kind of a group effort here. But uh, yeah, the Two of Cups is a card of um, a soulmate connection, and it's a card of unconditional love. So overall, you'll have an amazing week. Very happy. You're going to be... Wishes being good, are going to be granted, or you'll just simply feel satisfied and fulfilled, right? And don't forget about the Two of Cups, the Unconditional Love card, all right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Wands. We have the Devil, and we also have uh, Death on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or pretty much any zodiac sign. Well, um, Scorpio, here's the deal. Whoever is coming back from the past this week, they are not looking for a long term. All they want to do is have fun with you behind, uh, behind closed doors, if you know what I mean. That is it. That is it, Scorpio. So if you are single and ready to mingle without strings attached, go for it. But uh, if uh, you're looking for something serious, a commitment, don't even bother with this person. Because, again, they just want to have a little fun with you and they'll be uh, out, they'll be gone in the morning. Okay, the Page of Pentacles, the first card that came out, uh, they may send you a gift with that Page of Pentacles, right? Perhaps, or they will just reach out to you and say, hey, I found this thing that belongs to you at my place. Do you want this? So it's just going to be an excuse to start a conversation with you. The Page of Pentacles could be tickets to a show or a concert or a game, right? This is them luring, luring you back in with that Page of Pentacles. It's like going to be, it's going to be like that uh, carrot that they're going to be tangling in front of you, right? And uh, the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Ace of Wands in the middle, this is what it's all about. The Ace of Wands, we all know what it looks like. It's, uh, it's all about passion, all right? And the Seven of Swords, uh, the Ace of Wands is clarifying, it's a card of a cheater, it's a card of a deception, it's a card of somebody who sneaks around, and it's a card of somebody who runs away in the morning, 
The devil right next to the deck could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but the devil is a card of temptation, the devil is a card of lust, and things like that. The death card on the bottom of the deck, that is your major arcana card, Scorpio. And it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card on the table. So you'll have to decide what you want to do with this. If you don't want this person, just, you know, don't even bother with them. And, uh, yeah, that's what I have for you. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Scorpio, this week. We have the Five of Wands, we have the Three of Pentacles, uh, we have the Five of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Wands, and we have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Well, this is a warning. This is a red flag, Scorpio. Um, do not get into fights. Do not get into any kind of conflicts at work this week, because then you will regret it later. You will be facing the consequences. Right? I'm not saying you shouldn't be standing your ground, but don't get into like real uh, fights where people just get fired or something like that. Right? The five of ones, the first card that came out is a card of a conflict. Okay, it's a card of a fight. Uh, a very heated discussion, but I think in this case it is a card of a confrontation. The Three of Pentacles, the next card over, is a card of collaboration. This is a workplace environment or business place environment. The Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right could be dealing, well, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but the Knight of Swords out of all four knights is the knight that tends to get into fights. Okay, you see how the person in the Knight of Swords is uh, galloping, charging ahead, they've got their sword out and they look kind of pissed off. And uh, here comes the here come the consequences. We have the Five of Cups clarified by the Ten of Wands, right? The Five of Cups is a card of a regret, and uh, the Ten of Wands, clarifying it, is a card of uh, something that's taking a toll on us, something that's tough, a burden, alright? So, there is no major arcana cards on the table, so this can definitely be avoided. I'm not saying you're the one who could be starting a fight. You could be the one, but not necessarily. So just keep that in mind, perhaps this can be avoided. Alright, perhaps this can be, I don't know. You don't have to uh, escalate this, it doesn't have to get escalated, that's what I'm saying. Alright, so just keep that in mind. All right. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week. Uh, we have the Nine of Swords, we have Strength, clarified by the Ace of Swords, we have the Chariot, and we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Leo, Cancer, Sagittarius, or pretty much any zodiac sign. The message I hear, Scorpio, is do not doubt yourself. If you are thinking about starting something, and you're very worried, you're very nervous about this, you're all stressed out, do not be that way. You will make it happen. You will have strength, you'll have courage, you'll have everything you need to move forward with this. You will. Alright, so let's talk about this. First of all, we've got three major iconic cards on the table, and they are amazing major iconic cards by themselves and especially together, right? Uh, they're talking about either going somewhere or some kind of a new beginning, okay? Um, the Nine of Swords, the first card that came out, I think that's how you're going to be feeling about this, or are feeling about this, right? This is a card of somebody who is like, oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not, I, what if I can't make it? What if, uh, what if this? What if that? Right? This is you doubting yourself. This is you all stressed out about it. However, the rest of the spread is talking about you succeeding. <laughs> strength, the next card over could be a Leo you're dealing with, but strength is literally strength. It's a card of courage. The Ace of Swords, clarifying it, is a very decisive energy, clear-cut energy. The, the Ace of Swords uh, says yes. The Ace of Swords talks about somebody who is having a new beginning and being very decisive about it, right? The Chariot, the next card over could be a Cancer you're dealing with, but the Chariot is a card of victory and success. It's a card of a triumph. It's a card of going somewhere. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, um, it, you could be relocating, right? If that's what you're stressed out about, you are relocating. The Wheel of Fortune could also be a travel card, but the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. So whatever it is you're thinking about starting, perhaps you're thinking about starting your own business or what have you, or a relationship with somebody, or getting into some, some kind of a new beginning, do not doubt yourself. You'll be... Okay, you will succeed. Keep doing what you're doing, do your homework, keep pushing forward, and you will win. All right, so that's what I have for you, Scorpio, for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing week.